Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Monday, September 19th um, Board of Assessors meeting. Um, we're, I'm just, it's gonna be a short meeting today. We won't be going into executive session. So I'm gonna start with number one, um, less meeting minutes. Uh, what, we, what we carried over to this meeting is the certification um, and the Berkshire Scenic Railway Museum questions. Number two, update on the fiscal year 2023 certification of values. So last week, um, I found out that our sales, which have been submitted for um, almost two weeks, were approved, and that's a big hurdle. Um, you have to have your sales approved in order to move forward with all the smaller details of the state certification. So those were approved last Tuesday. And, and I think I mentioned at the last meeting that the Department of Revenue, they don't come out here anymore for our certifications. They used to spend a two to three days over a two week period. Uh, for I, I would imagine because they're working from home now and they do everything over Zoom I was even told they they very rarely report back to their Springfield um, offices that this is the reason why we now have to get all the information to our field advisors one way or the other. So what I sent him a message um, last Thursday that I would be scanning everything in as a PDF or sending him the actual spreadsheets that I have and I mentioned that after today's meeting, that's what I would be doing. So by the end of the day today, he will probably have close to 70 documents as part of our reval. Everything is finished and I'm hoping because our sales were not only the sales, but the actual verification of the sales that were outliers that we didn't use in our study. The proof for that was also certified as part of our review for the fiscal um, 23 say well fiscal 23 certification using the calendar year 2021 sales so at this point it's just going to be a matter of him reviewing uh you know the the land spreadsheets the residuals the the sacrage bowl everything he asked for i just i mean it's going to be a ton of information that's going through and i'm hoping that this week and next week, he has enough time to review all that and get back to me with any issues. Um, I would imagine even if there are some minor issues, it's just gonna be a matter of either it being a recommendation for changing it next year, because since our sales are already certified, I can't go back and change what I already did. So it's just gonna be a matter of um, running new reports to back up what I just submitted. I think we're good, we're good as far as um, everything he's requested, the personal property study. He's he's also looking for numbers now, you know, how many forms of list did you send out? How many did you have returned? How many income expense statements did you have sent out? How many returned? And the last thing I had to run was the top five taxpayers using the new values versus the top five taxpayers over last year's. Any big significant changes, I will have to explain, but there really weren't that many changes with the top five. So we'll see what happens with that. But I'll, I'll at our next meeting, I'm hoping this will be finished and we'll at least have the preliminary certification finished. The next step after preliminary certification and, at, and what basically preliminary certification is, is that they're approving everything that has to do with the reval. There's really nothing else that they're gonna look for because I look at it as it's basically our values are good to go. We can now start doing number three, which is the public disclosure for the updated valuations. So if we get preliminary certification this week or next week, but also I wanted to tell you, he informed me that there's four other communities that are submitting at the same time. I don't know which ones they are. So hopefully he doesn't forget us, you know, and I don't have to call every day and remind him, but I will if I have to, you know, that I've had my information submitted for at least three weeks now, and it would be good to 
to get that done. So the next step will be uh, public disclosure for the updated values. What that will entail, and I'm going to start working on that this week. Tammy and I can start working on it. Is we have to send a mailer to everyone outside of the Stockbridge zip code, and we have to. And what the mailer will entail is basically a it's a form letter that that informs people what we did during the certification and it has to list it must list last year's valuation this year's proposed valuation as well as the beginning date and the end date in which they can inquire about that assessment and inquire doesn't necessarily mean that we're changing the valuation if we, if we because changing the valuation it then means that we have to go back into preliminary certification and redo whatever, you know, unless it's a, a grave error or mistake that was found, we will suggest that the taxpayer wait until the abatement process and file once they receive their tax bill when we're in a regular course of tax billing. Last time we did this for fiscal year 15 or 18, I believe, Tammy and I had, you know, close to 200 phone calls, but there's going to be around, I believe, seven or 800 mailers that will be going out because it's not just the second homeowners that will be getting one. It's any anyone outside of the zip code because what we offer the public will be uh, runoffs of our legal file, which we, we typically bring to the library for people to view. We have them in our offices here. So if anyone from the public wanted second homeowner or, or local wanted to come in and look at what their value was last year, what their new value is this year, we'll have a book that we always have those books anyway, but this is a specific public disclosure that we have to prove to the DOR that took place in Stockbridge. And once it's done, and I feel that it's probably going to take us well into the end of October at this point, because I know there's a lot of conversation about when we're going to have our tax classification hearing. And I just want to um, notify people at this point that we don't know when that's going to be. Nothing is scheduled at this point until we follow the procedures that are put forward by the certification process, which is preliminary certification, public disclosure, filing for final certification and as soon as which that could take a day or two once all of those things have been completed and the state feels that our certification is now finished we're then in a regular year as if the certification did not exist that year so then we're heading towards getting our new growth certified and luckily joe barberi who does the certification for our values, he also does our certification of our new growth, and he will probably inform, uh, be informing me to start getting that ready to send in, so it's ready to go the moment we get our final certification on our values. Once that is sent in and approved, we can then schedule the classification hearing, and it can be scheduled within 48 hours of notification of the um, final new growth number but we typically schedule it the next week because i'm going to have to get data ready for the selectmen and um move forward with that so i'm not ready to give out a date i know end of october is typically when we do the survey you know the tax classification but at this point we are still in a certification and we're still wait you know we will be waiting for the department of revenue to review everything and as long as everything goes okay i'm i'm confident we can still probably have it at the end of october beginning of november which will give us plenty of time to submit it for the tax rate and get the tax bills out by the end of the year so we're hoping we can still stick to a schedule like that but i will inform you guys every step of the way where we are with with the with this process because it is starting to wrap up um, right now. Number four, the CL one chapter land forms have all been sent out, and I'll just briefly describe what those are in case people are listening. The CL one forms go to all of the property owners, taxpayers that have 
any property land in a uh, certified chapter land, and that would be forest management, agricultural, or recreational. And you're required to send in a form to the Board of Assessors by October 1st. And if you if, if it's going to be late, we would like a, a phone call or an email so we know that. But typically they're due October 1st. They went out. If you didn't, re I would say if you did not receive the form, by the end of this week, please contact the assessor's office and we'll get another one to you. And uh, we already have a few that have, that have come in. And typically those, you know, we send them out, but it is really the responsibility of the, um, the applicant to have that form back to us, um, even if we didn't send them out. So those are due October 1st. And then if you have any questions about what, how those need to get filled out, you can give us a call or email us. We will, number five, we're gonna to have to order uh, some quite a bit of supplies because we're, we're doing the public dis disclosure ourselves. So it's gonna mean envelopes, labels, on top of what we typically order for the commitment book and more labels for the mailing address changes. So I just wanted to inform you that I'll be putting an order in for supplies probably this week or next week. Number six, uh, request for information letter to Berkshire Scenic Railway Museum Incorporated for 2 Depot Street. The, this has been an ongoing um, topic of our meeting and we're finally able to send the official questions from the Board of Assessors, which have been verified by Town Council to Berkshire Scenic Railway Museum. I did send that out certified mail last week and I also emailed it uh, to them and I did get a response that they received, they at least received the email and that they are going to be addressing those questions this week. So um, the dead, basically the deadline, because we initially were gonna go with October 3rd, but uh, official request under 38D and Donna from town council um, actually put this in our letter. 38D request is an official request for information and we have to legally give them 60 days to respond. So the October 3rd date is going to be, uh, since we sent it out last week, it's gonna be probably more mid-November. I have to look up the exact date. I have a feeling they'll have those in a lot sooner if they're working on them right now. Um, no, and I told them, give us, a, give us a call if you have any issues. There's a lot of questions on there. Okay. Yeah, I think it came to 14 questions and, and some of them are um, multi-tiered questions. So there's a lot to answer. And Doug, I did put in the letter as of July 1st. So, so Michael, if they do respond within a reasonable period of time, do we still have to wait the 60 days before we make any? No, so no, because that's the, that, that 38D is the same request that I would use for an appellate tax board case. If, uh, an if someone was taking the board of assessors to court over the valuation and they request information from us, I can in turn do what we just did and request under 38D but we'd still, at that point, it's still a 60 day. If we get it earlier, that's fine. We can still go forward and review it. I did mention that in my email to them that whatever decision you know is made, it, it, I'm thinking with the timing of the reval and when bills may be going out, there's, we're not going to be able to change if even if your decision was to put them, you know, under tax exempt status, we would have to do that through an abatement. Because once I'm locked into those values, I can't change anything. I mean, I was hoping that this would be done before we got to, you know, to the point of having the questions ready, but there's no way I'll be able to change that. They but and that's perfectly fine because in a reval year, they can still file an abatement just like everybody else and say we've we've talked to the board we've been reviewing that you've been reviewing this since what may of this year and we would like an official response through the abatement side of it and obviously if you decided to uh tax exempt the organization 
it would be a direct refund to them. So that would be done through an abatement process because like I said, I think after, after two weeks from now, our values will be locked. So one question I have, uh, I've heard that they're hoping to have uh, their scenic railroad up and running next year, and which in case then that station would have a new use. Does that affect this deliberation at all? I don't think so, no. And so, and so really is the question is, how is it being used on July 1st of 2022? Yep, because so they're, they're applying for fiscal 23. So it will be as of July 1. Next year, again, the assessment date means nothing to the exempt properties. It's gonna be July 1, what is happening next year on July 1st. And we, would, we, we should be revisiting these every year. Okay. Um, I did not put it on here, but we had we had also talked about because it's in the the same um, the there there will be a memo that will be going um, out too just to inform the um, the selectmen what we're doing with Berkshire Scenic Railway as well. Um, that we're not you know once the decision is made we won't be doing anything now, but I just wanted to bring that up. Any other concerns about? The because uh, I did send you. Did you get the email with the questions that I sent? I did, and I know you had recused yourself yes, from it. Yeah. Doug, you got them too. Yeah. Okay, okay, yep. And I know Gary did. All right. Well, that I don't have anything else at the moment. Um, I'll have a lot more at our next meeting. Yeah. Uh, the pilot committee will be resuming shortly. Okay. Perhaps uh, you can put it back on the agenda for next, sure. next meeting. So our next meeting, um, let's see, is it October 3rd? I think it coincided with the date we wanted to have the questions back. It is October 3rd. Um, I'm gonna be okay. out, I'm gonna be out of town during that time. Actually, uh, I also have a conflict on October 3rd. Okay, well, the, the following, whoops, the following week we won't be here because it's Columbus Day. Did you, Doug, are you, do you guys want us to do it for, which are you here on Tuesday, the 4th? Yeah, Tuesday would work. Do you, want it, do you want us to do it on the 4th? I am not going to be in town. I don't I'll get back to town. The earliest I could do was be the 6th. Or okay. I could, or I could do the 11th which is the Tuesday after Columbus Day. Um, that's fine. I mean, we- Or if you guys want to have the two-person meeting, that's fine as well. Well, we could actually, because there's one, two, 11th, we could always do the 11th and the 24th instead of the third and the 17th. That works for me. Like the next meeting is going to be, you know, you said there's going to be a lot more on the agenda next. Right. Yeah. I, I would rather switch it around and do the 11th when everyone's here and the 24th. That, that works for me. Okay. Sounds good. And I can send a, a note to Gary and see if everything's, I'm sure that'll be fine. Um, there, it, there will be, I don't know if you guys are interested, but there's a notification the 27th is our Berkshire County Assessors Association um, luncheon. We really are trying to still nail down our topic. I think we're trying to get someone from the state to come out and talk. Joe Barberi, our rep would be perfect, but he's probably gonna be tied up with other communities. Um, the, the topic at this point, it may end up turning into a round table discussion if we can't get anyone from the DOR, but it's, scheduled for the 27th and it's at the proprietor's lounge. Is that what it's lodged? Tammy sent an email. They have set up the topics and everything. Okay, I didn't even see that yet. Yep. That's in Pittsfield. Or... That is in Pittsfield. Yes. Right? yes. Punches the click. Yep. So, uh, and that is our annual fall meeting. Our next one won't be until the spring next April. And I think that's it. Is there anyone in? No. Okay then, um, so we will be ending our assessors meeting for September 19th. Um, thank you everyone. I move we adjourn. Second.
Great. Bye, everybody. Thanks, guys.